Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm finally going to be showing you what my garage gym looks like. My husband and I started this project when quarantine started. Our city is currently still on lockdown. They're slowly starting to open. Um, I will say that my husband is a gym owner. That's why we have a few of these huge machines in the gym, but those machines are not going to be staying here for long. They're just temporary. As soon as the city starts opening up, um, we're definitely going to be getting those machines out of here because the idea was to make a fully equipped gym while still being able to park our truck in the garage. So I'm gonna flip you guys over and give you guys like a little rundown and I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you do, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you're new here, I would love for you to go ahead and join my YouTube family. All you gotta do is hit that red subscribe button. So I'm gonna give you just like a quick overview of what the garage looks like. Um, it's pretty small, so we did the best that we could. The first machines you're going to see are these three and all of these are for legs. Um, we have a calf machine, a hamstring machine, and um, the quad machine. These are only going to be temporary. These will be going back to the gym as soon as the city opens. Okay, so now that you're in the gym, this is basically what it looks like. And I guess I'll start off with the flooring. We added this mat just so that if any of the dumbbells fall or something like that, it doesn't damage the tile. So we just have this mat that I think was already used. John just went ahead and repurposed it. Then you're going to see this bench, and I will say that this bench is quite big. I feel myself getting cramped because it's just huge. Thank God this is just a temporary item that we're going to be having. We're going to take it back and buy a smaller one in time. It's just your regular bench that goes up, I think, all the way to... 60 degrees so you can do um, chest and those types of exercise then here we have our rack and it's just for multi-purposes on the bottom I have the grips and all along the rack you're going to see that I have the grips hanging just so that we can have the most space we don't really have that much space around the gym as you can tell um, but this rack is only going to be temporary we need to get this out of the way in order to have the car fit so we're still thinking about ideas i think all of these items we're going to hang them on this side of the wall um but anyways into the rack on the bottom row i just have these grips here and that's for the rack i also have that little pad for if i have to do squats or anything like that i don't hurt my shoulders then these two shelves, I have the smaller dumbbells. Those are for my easy access. My husband uses the ones on the floor. I never use those. So he put those there for me. And as you can see that I have all of these handles or grips for the rack. We tried to put as much as we could just to get the best workout. Um, we have a jump rope and just more grips. On the second two, we have like more accessories. Here we have the fat grips just to help when you're grabbing the bars. Um, we have like these little machines or these little massage things. I don't even know what they're called, but we've got these at different locations. I think I got this one at Academy or Dick's. I'm not too sure. I know that I got this one at Five and Below. These little massage balls just to help um, get that lactic acid out or help you uh, warm up. We also have these bands. Yeah, we also have these bands in different colors. We love these things. They help you warm up. You can get a whole workout in. So if you're in the market to having like a little gym in your house, definitely do not skip out on these bands. I promise you that. Then here on top, we have the remote to the TV, um, another rollout ball, another thing for injuries. Um, John has his little gun here. I forget what they're called. Um, and then this to do abs. And that's pretty much it for the rack. 
Then here we have the dumbbells. I think the highest number we have is 100. And these are all recycled. As I mentioned before, my husband is a gym owner. So obviously these dumbbells have seen better days. Like this one, for instance, we just wrapped it up with some tape and it's good as new. Um, these ones as well. But yeah, so that's what we have here on the floor. We also have some more here. And then we also have these little, I don't even know what you would call these, these little steps. I really don't use these, but if you're working legs or anything here on the rack, this helps give you some height. We also have this little sponge majigger here just to help you with crunches and stuff. We have another bench here. I don't use this as much as my husband does, but yeah, it's a multi-purpose bench. Like I said, some of this stuff we're gonna have to get out of the way just so that the car is able to fit. So I'm pretty sure either we're gonna get this out or we're gonna have to hang it up on the wall. Now on the left-hand side, I'm going to show you the wall. Here we just have the little hanger and three bars. Like I said, these are the grips that we have to use on the bars. We have a TV here. We also added this mirror here for, for anybody who does bodybuilding and you guys need to pose, definitely get yourself a mirror like this. Um, but yeah, that's basically what we have on this wall. Then over on this wall, we just have the mirror. And I will say that the mirrors definitely made the gym feel much bigger than what it is. It just adds dimension. Plus, it gives you that feel that you're at a nice gym. Also, it works for selfies and stuff like that. So yeah, this is what it looks like. And then here we have this rack. My husband actually designed this rack on his own, um, his own design and everything. He did everything by himself. So it's just a multi-purpose rack. Like I said, um, these things come out, you just pull it and then you'll just put it where you want. Yeah, so you can do bench press, you can do squats, you can do all of that stuff with these types of racks. If you're interested, I'll leave my husband's info in the description down below. Um, here we also have some more discs, just because you need discs in this area if you're going to be doing legs or anything like that. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the gym. Here we just have some more things in case you wanna do dips or anything like that. We have that here. We obviously have our speaker which we use quite often when we're working out. So now onto the lights. Um, the garage already had this one light here, but since my husband is really into bodybuilding, he went ahead and put these posing studio lights on there. So he'll just stand here in the center, he'll pose in front of this mirror, and then this mirror will show him what his back looks like and all of that. Um, very helpful. I didn't think that it was necessary, but when I'm working out, I actually do like to see my shoulders and my back and it just gives you kind of like a perspective that you don't see in yourself. But um, yeah, I'm just showing you kind of like what you can see with this mirror. So that is basically what the garage gym looks like. I'll take a step back just so that you guys can get different angles of what it looks like. So you guys can get ideas if you are thinking of doing that. This is what the garage looks like closed. And I wanted to close the garage just so that you can see what the lights look like. Um, this is the one in the center. Like I said, this was the light that we already had in the gym. I'm going to turn that one off just so that you guys can see what these lights look like. Um, we also have a light here and I think it just makes the garage look a bit more special, adding lights to so it. So here are the little studio lights on and I'll stand here in the middle just so that you guys can see um, what it looks like. You got a nice view. It does give you, you know, the nice lighting so you can see your muscles and all of that. So that's it for today's video. That is my garage gym tour. I hope that you guys found this video helpful, inspirational, whatever it may be. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. 
Before I go, I just want to give a quick shout out to a Racky for sending me the barbell pad. If you guys are in the market for one, definitely check them out. I'll be leaving my 20% coupon code down in the description bar. I'll also be leaving my husband's info for the customizable racks. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.